Hey yo, what's up guys? Before I get started with vlog number three, just let me just, a quick prayer. Here we go. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you for everything you are doing in our lives. And sometimes you put us through challenges and at the moment we might not understand it. But as we continue to walk, a walk of faith, we come to the realization that you are doing everything you can, Father, to make us stronger. And this means that we will have to overcome obstacles. Getting out of our comfort zone is going to be mandatory. So continue to provide us with that strength, Father God, and that clear vision and put the right people in our lives so that we continue moving forward in the righteous path, fighting the good fight. Amen and amen, baby. Let's go. So guys, vlog number three, as you guys can see, is way longer than vlog number one and vlog number two because this time I told myself I'm really going to jump into the details so you guys are going to see everything from me setting up me packing it up, me unloading, setting up, all that great stuff is here. Also guys, just remember how important getting insurance for your business is. Uh, this particular venue, uh, it was at the airport, you guys are about to see in a little bit, and I showed my Thimble insurance. I'm only paying $54 a month. If you guys want that link, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the description below. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to vlog number three. Today, the event's taking place at right. in right a small little airport. Right now, I'm on my way to pick up my rental truck this time no actually SUV corrected SUV I'm picking up my SUV right now guys let's go all right so like I said guys we're gonna get this 40 inch booth loaded into the little tight area over there first I want to do is I'm gonna take my grip center myself just like this back straight align chest hit the ceiling lift with my legs <laughs> All right, <laughs> now we're gonna walk. Wow, I already have hobbit feet, I just noticed. Dude. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a little rest right here. It's not that it's not that your boy's weak, but I just need to like recalculate and reposition my body posture. All right, here we go. All right, lift with your legs, chest up in the air like that. All right, and then you roll it in just like this. Okay, now I have it rested on the actual car. I'm gonna slide it out this way. Oh. oh man. Okay. Then I'm gonna pop it out this way. Oh, it's going in. It's going in. Baby. What's going in, baby? Oh, wait a minute. I think it's gonna fit right in there just like that. Would you look at that? Now I can put some stuff right here, right here. Yeah! Thank you. Thank you very much. Now the next thing I'm gonna be doing, guys, is I'm gonna put, of course, the stanchions. This, this thing, I'm out, why am I out of breath? Am I out of shape? No, I'm 10 times great than the five legs. Look, take time to meditate. Frosted flakes, like Tony the Tiger, I'm great. This is a freestyle early in the morning. Let's keep it going with the flow. As you already know, the only thing that follows me is my shadow. Oh, that was pretty good. Oh, pretty good. Okay, that's enough. And cut. All right, guys, so one thing you want to do, and you might want to do this in front of your client, is hit the... Uh, the velvet ropes with the limp brush remover so they know that you're trying to give them the best cleanest presentation in the world all right so we're about 99 percent done let me show you guys how i packed everything in here let's go all right so right in here i got this box that i cut out i have all of my tripods in there right here black carpet i put the towel on top of the stanchions from side to side that way this box of props doesn't scratch up my stanchions too bad I have two arms I'm taking with me. There's gonna be different angles. This one's gonna be nice and long. This one's gonna be looking towards the sky to give you that godly appeal look angle. I have my two brand new RGB lights in here. I'm, this is the first time I take them out to an event. I got these from Jeremy. Shouts out to Jeremy. Uh, I'll put the link for these in the description below. I'm taking this uh, clothes hanger, coat hanger, hat hanger, whatever you wanna call it, because I got some new props. Right there, peekaboo. We got the fog haze machine right there. Not the fog haze, but the fog juice. Speaking of fog machines, I have it here mounted onto these uh, tripod. I have my little machine right over there, and then the laser machine over there. That's what we have going on on this side of the truck. Now, as we go around, let me go ahead and show you what we have. I squeezed in my heavy duty wagon. This thing holds up to 220 pounds. My best friend so far. I got a, I bought a brand new black carpet. You guys will see it displayed out once I get to the event location. I have one box full of electronics. What else am I missing? Of course, my six foot table. Let's go around and check out the other side. 
good luck on your next event guys right here on this side i have a box full of cables and the actual cold spark machines so this is dope because before i had to take the cold spark machines individually that were sitting in different boxes but now i can put everything in that box there and use my wagon to move stuff around since i'm always adding new equipment to my production that's all i got for you guys right now at the moment i'll see you at the event you guys already know how I feel about the money guns. It's way too much work. This is an anniversary, so I'm gonna try to get maybe two shots with the bubble guns, not the bubble guns, with the money guns at the very end. And that's it. No more money guns. But like I said, for the groom, the bride, why not? Anyways, guys, so I'm about to get on the road and get there extra early. As usual, I like doing that just to give myself extra time, especially because I'm rolling solo and I'm adding new equipment to my production. So that's always something that I really try to stick to and that's getting there extra extra early what else I invited someone to come out with me they were all hyped they were all talked they were super excited and all that stuff and they never even showed up what? not even a call or a message saying hey yo I can't make it all right well you know what we do we keep on pushing through baby and they are blocked for life all right let's go So I just showed up, like I said, I got here a little earlier. Let's go ahead and flip this over. I showed up a lot earlier than most expected. Now that's cool, you see vendors over there, vendors are pulling up. That's what I'm gonna do too right now. I'm gonna go around, but I need someone to open up this gate for me. Access granted, let's go ahead and find our spot here. Alright guys, so this is going to be my area, the 360 booth area is going to be right here, the bar right over there, this is going to be dope. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and drive in here and then back up and then get my, all my stuff and get start settling in right here in this area. So let's go ahead and rock that part out right now. I, I was looking at this and then I got distracted by this little critter right here. So this will be my first trip from the car to the location right over there. They opened up this little lane just for me. Much appreciated. This is dope right there. Let's go ahead and get a better view. There you go. And so I'm gonna come back for the rest of the stuff. I'm gonna see how many trips it takes for me to grab everything. And of course, I'm gonna be careful because I have these RGB lights right over here. And these things are not the most durable. So I don't wanna crack these accidentally. So I have to be careful on how I'm pulling stuff out and later on how I'm putting stuff back in. Let's go. I'm getting used to all the equipment that I have. This is gonna be trip number two. This is just some of the things I have to be careful with. I kind of pre-assembled them already just so that I can just show up, plug in and play and plug in play. So this is my second trip. This is going to be trip number three. I can actually add stanchions in here, but I've been really trying to be really careful with my stanchions because I don't want them to scratch so often and get dings and dents. So all I really have left is these stanchions and the 360 booth itself. All right, so now I'm gonna spin around. I'm gonna park in the outside. One quick tip I thought about just now, guys. I'm always talking about networking, getting familiar with the DJ, the photographer, the wedding planner, the coordinator, all, all these uh, individuals that are in the industry that we're in. That's the rental and entertainment party planning industry. So I got a feel for the people that were here right now doing the tables, the music and everything. Where is that coming from? Oh, my Spotify was on. And so later on, I'm gonna make sure I connect with the operator or the director of who was in charge of setting up the venue. And because think about it, if they had a 360 booth, they wouldn't have called me for my services, which means this company does not have a 360 booth. And so let's go network, let's go do it. Let's go connect 
and start building these long-term relationships, right? All right, let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I have exactly 40 minutes to set up exactly 40 minutes. The party starts at 6 p.m. I gotta be rocking and spinning by 6 p.m. Let's get this going. I want money, 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 money in my motherfucking bank. I want money, 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 money. I want money in my motherfucking bank. This way, you're probably thinking, David, what are you? You're not, you're not a pilot, bro. Just because you're around airplanes, I'll make you relax. No, the reason is when the wind starts blowing, it's gonna start blowing on your tripod, on your lamps, on your fog machine. So you wanna know what way the fog is gonna travel. You wanna know your cold sparkles when they shoot up in the air, where are they gonna travel? Are they gonna travel this way? Because if we put the cold sparkles here and the wind's blowing this way, what's gonna end up happening is you don't wanna get the cold sparkles in their eyes. You don't wanna get that. You don't want that, you don't want that to happen. So as you guys can see, the way I set this up is this right here is facing this way, but this just gives this more stability and it won't fall forward because remember the wind's blowing this way. All right. All right, guys, so check out this setup right here. So what I did is, and I'm talking as low as possible because there's a presentation going on over there, but hear me out. I put my 900 watt machine here at the bottom and then my machine, my fog machine up here facing down. This is also angled down on purpose that way, when this fog goes out, you're gonna see the cool effect here. Let me show you guys. I can have it on auto here. Yeah, it's on auto, so it's about to go on right now. And then I have my, um, see that? That's gonna come out in the background of the video. So that's gonna look hella dope. And then if I add more fog here at the bottom, you know, you get even more light. So this is part of the production. And then also for the presentation, I have these new RGB lights. I'm just setting them up differently depending on where so I'm probably gonna end up setting them here looking this way that way oh my god look at this shot guys this is dope man Just like that. 
thank you. So we got a... Alright, come on up, come on up. Go ahead and go on stage for me there, right in the middle of the center. It showed up after all right? So make sure your airdrop is turned on and you can accept from everyone. Try that. There you go. Alright guys, so when I say action, it's going to start recording, okay? It'll sit for a little bit, but when I say action, that's the part where you actually want to do your thing. You can start rocking it out and then jump just like that. All oh, good, alright, I'm going to count you guys in. Here we go. Alright, here we go. Four, three, You know, operators, every event I go to, it teaches me something. And sometimes that lesson goes deeper than just a visual or a mental thing. But sometimes it hits me hard. And say, for example, like I see an older lady get on the booth. It reminds me of my mom. And I wish that my mom was still around. But life is short. And so let's let's cherish the people that we have right now in the present moment and give them their flowers in advance because when they're gone it's it's tough because you just you don't have that line of communication anymore even in a spiritual sense sometimes i try to have a connection with my mom and it's tough but uh i want to just tell you guys i'm very grateful for you guys support you guys uh i appreciate you guys' feedback in fact if you guys can hit me with some comments and let me know what other things you guys want me to share while I'm out there doing these vlogs. Because doing these vlogs is difficult, guys. I have to get there extra early. That way I, I know that I'm going to have enough time to kind of jump into some details and, and, and pause and record a few things and go over, you know, whatever it is. So your feedback is really going to help me. And I know that everyone sees business from a different perspective. And also uh, just sharing your point of view is going to add value to my upcoming content. And as long as life uh, is, is uh, relevant for me here, then I'm going to continue being a content creator because I enjoy doing these type of things, guys. I I love the fact that I created a, a something greater and bigger than me, a community that just has multiple people from different parts of the country, the world coming together and just sharing this point of view. And that's how do we have a super dope ass event how do we produce great content as 360 booth operators how do we have a flourishing growing 360 booth business this is an amazing thing so i really hope you guys can hit me with a like button and um just being at today's event it's a 20th anniversary guys people are not even getting married anymore but these people are celebrating their love their affection their commitment yes they went through major struggles and they had a compromise but today god showed me confirmation that true love still exists but it takes hard work so i just might caught me a shorty this year i don't know man i just I play too much on tests, but it's all good, baby. I'm focused on my business and the right person will come along sooner or later. That's just how life is, but you just got to prepare and keep on moving forward, all right? You guys take care. Thank you for your support. Good luck on your next event. Peace.